I am Wayne and thank you for coming to my channel. Today we're going to talk about updating your navigation system or your navigation map on your W222 or 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550. I'm going to go ahead and show you the current version of what I have now and then we're going to go to the computer, we're going to download the software and then we're going to come back to the car and update the map. So let me show you in the car, let me switch the camera view and um, we're going to come here and we're going to go to the navigation system we're going to go down to options which is here push down we're going to go to map content and we're going to scroll all the way down to map version and this is the current version of the map on the car and if you use a navigation system built into the car you probably want to keep this updated and you update it mm, maybe every four years four to five years so for this car it's, it's due so um, let's go ahead let's go to the computer we're going to go to the website and we're going to download the software and we'll show you how to update your navigation map on your car okay so for my 64 gig usb thumb drive back on my main page i added a link and this is the amazon link that i added now if you click on this link and you buy anything whatever on amazon not only are you getting a great product from Amazon, but you're also helping this channel as well. Um, let's go ahead and click on the link here, which is on the main page. We can go ahead and we're going to put in the scan disk ultra USB flash drive. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. And this is basically what I have. And this is how I flash the navigation uh, map. And of course, you know, it's uh, if you're looking at the rating, it's one of Amazon's choice. So I'm not going to tell you anything that I'm not using myself. But this is a thumb drive. Some of you who are Amazon Prime, you get this in two days. Some of you get it in one day. But this is what I use. And like I said, this is a, a great thumb drive to use. Um, basically, you want to have a minimum of, of at least 32 gigs if you're going to update your map. This is 64 gigs. So that's just a, um, a pointer for you. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the website. And for me, uh, you probably have other websites out there that you want to go to. But for me, I'm going to go to mbnavupdate.com. And in here, I'm going to select my map uh, for my car. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to select your model. And I'm going to scroll down and select my S series. Select model year, which is 2016. The region is going to be North America. And the delivery method, I'm going to choose the um, online download. And that's going to be the price for it. And um, it says, if you select direct download as your method of delivery, you'll be getting a direct download link after the purchase with all the necessary information, such as map data and video instruction on how to download upload data onto USB in order to complete the update. If you are not computer savvy, please choose chip USB as delivery method. So I'm going to be choosing the unload download. I'm going to go ahead and add to cart. Okay, proceed to checkout. And this is my order detail here after I finish uh, placing the order. And I'm probably going to wait for an email to come in. Let me go ahead and check that now. And it's giving me all the information that I used to purchase it. And this is the download file. So we're going to click on this to download that file. We're going to save it. We're going to create a folder on our desktop, save the file, and actually um, follow the rest of the, of the instructions. And it's asking me to, where do I want to put it? Let's put it in our download folder. And we're going to click new folder. And 
I'm going to give it a name. We want to save it in there. We're going to hit save. And the raw extension is equivalent to like a zip file. So what we're going to do, we're going to unzip it after it finished. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, create a folder. We're going to open up our Windows Explorer on our computer. I'm on the Windows 10. And basically, um, I saved it to the download folder, which is here. And I created a folder called um, MB or MBENS Navigation Map Update. And this is where I saved the file. So this is the actual file here. And of course, we want to verify the file is 20 gigs, which is this. So after we unzip it, actually, um, the extension is R A R, and you need a software such as this to basically open it. So let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and unzip uh, the file here. We're going to unzip both of them. So we can go, go ahead. We're going to highlight both of them. We're going to hit Extract to. And um, we went to our Downloads folder. Let's open this up. Come down here. This is the folder that we created. We're going to hit OK. And we're just going to wait for this to um, extract the files. All right, so now that that file finished extracting, let's go ahead and take a look at it, see what it looked like. I'm going to come in here, and this is the folder. All right, and the program that we use to extract it is this. Um, this is equivalent to like WinZip, so it actually extracts your file for you. So now I'm going to take uh, one of my thumb drives and see how big it is. Um, let's take a look at the instructions real quick from the website. All right, so according to this, extract uh, using the utility WinRAR or any other un unzipping um, tool. Uh, make sure your thumb drive is at least 32 gigs, and we got to format using NTFS. And load the content onto the root, which is the root of the thumb drive. And um, you know, start the car, insert the USB into the USB slot, and it's got automatically prompt for an update. And once prompted by Mercedes, go ahead and cancel update message us on the live chat for map license key. All right, so when I called the uh, Mercedes Benz dealership, um, they told me for my car, I need to bring the car in. So, you know, this is just another way of doing it. So let's go ahead and put that thumb drive in the computer. I don't know how big it is, but we'll check the size. And this is a thumb drive here. We can go ahead, right click on it, and we're going to go to properties. And of course, this is 14 gigs, so that's too small. We can go ahead and take this out because we can't use that. We need at least 32 gigs. Let me go ahead and put in another thumb drive. We'll see how big this file is. Oh, I mean, this thumb drive stick is. Here it is. We're going to right click. We're going to go to properties. And of course, this is more than enough. Um, this is actually a 64 gig uh, thumb drive, but we have more than enough space in here. Okay, we're going to go back to the thumb drive. We're going to format it. Format, and we want NTFS. So we come here, switch to NTFS. And we'll just put um, we'll just put update. We don't have to give it a name. We're gonna hit the start button. Hit OK. And we'll wait for this to go across. Format complete. We're done. Let's close this. Come back here. And we're gonna uh, come here. Right click. Properties, and there we go. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to copy the file, which is in the, the download folder. Okay, all right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the thumb drive, we're going to
copy and paste, right click, paste it. As you can see, the update's almost done as far as copying it from my computer to the thumb drive. Just a few more minutes, and of course, we have the customer service done here um, waiting for us. So basically, after this process, we're going to go to the car. We're going to insert the thumb drive into the car. It's going to prompt us for a license key. We're going to hit cancel. We're going to come back to this guy, give him the order number, ask him for the license key. He gives that to us. We go back in the car and we enter it and the rest should be it. So we're almost done. And what we're going to do, we're going to um, verify that all the contents are on the thumb drive. We're going to take it out, go to the car, and then, um, and then we can get started. Now, one thing I want to make notice, um, during the update, during the update of the maps on your car, make sure your car is running because if your car is not running and the uh, command will automatically shut down after three minutes. If it shuts down after three minutes and you're doing the update and your car is not running, or let's say you only have a quarter of a tank of gas in your car and your car shuts off, um, how do I say this uh, nicely? You're screwed. Uh, so you want to make sure that you follow everything uh, properly, that your car is running, you have more than enough gas in it. And let's say estimate about a hour run. And um, once you do that, then you're fine. But we're almost coming to the end of the uh, copying of the, the data to the thumb drive. So just a few more minutes. All right, that's finished. Let's go to the thumb drive and see what's on it. This is our file. Everything's copied over. Okay, so this is done. All right, so let's go to the car. Come here. We're going to eject the thumb drive from the computer, and let's continue on with the car and um, see how it looks. All right, so our car is off. We can go ahead. We're going to start it. Okay, we're going to open up our center dash. We're going to take our thumb drive here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert it into USB slot 1, which is right there. And we're going to look and see what's going up on the screen. And it says update. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hit cancel. According to what the, um, the technical support service uh, said. And we're going to go back to him now. All right, now after we cancel that update, we're going to go ahead and turn off the car and we're going to go to our uh, customer service and um, get the license key. All right, so now that we're back in the car, we have our license key that we got from customer service. So we can go ahead and start the car. Actually, before we start the car, we're going to replug this in back into the USB port. Let's go back in here and we're going to go ahead and insert it into USB port 1. Go ahead, we're gonna um, start the car. And that's our current map. And this is update. We'll go ahead and we'll hit the update. And it says, please enter the license key. So, the license key I'm gonna enter. Okay, and there go the update. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at the time. Uh, just to uh, keep the time there. And then when we come back, we'll take a look at the time and see, um, see when it actually finished. So, and um, like I said, you should have enough fuel. I have 45%, so um, good hour worth or more than an hour. So we're gonna watch the scroll bar grow across the screen and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at the time and and see uh, when this thing is finished. All 
All right, the map has been updated successfully and navigation will be restarted. So we're good, and let's take a look at the car as well. I almost forgot to mention, let's take a look at the time, so there. All right, so we can go ahead, we're gonna hit okay. And we'll see what it's doing from here. All right, so let's go into the map. We're gonna go down to the options. Hit okay, go to map content, and we're gonna go down to map version. And there it is, it's updated, 2021-2022. This is basically how to up, update the navigation system in your car for your W222 or 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550 Let's go back and come out of that, and we're basically good to go. Subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you soon.